Hello, and welcome to another Mario Party 8 minigame review. Up today, we're playing the dual minigame Eye Brawl. And this one, you're trying to make an eye dizzy. And how do you do that? By moving your cursor around it, of course. Once the eyeball gets too dizzy, it explodes. And whoever does that three times will win. Yeah, this is an okay concept for a minigame. I mean, at least it's original. It actually reminds me of the eye enemies in Super Mario 64, where you have to make Mario run around them until they get dizzy. Ooh, yeah, that's exactly what it reminds me of, too. But it's fun seeing them try new concepts that utilize the Wii Remote more. Yeah, I agree. This is one of those ones that's a simple concept, but a lot of fun. It has that high intensity where you're trying to be really competitive with your opponent, so it's perfect for a dual minigame. Yeah, but on the flip side, there's not a whole lot of depth to this. It's cool that you're trying to spin your cursor around as fast as you can, but once you realize that that's all you're doing, it kind of loses some of its luster the more you play it. That, and I thought it was a little challenging with the Wii Remote. I felt like I was either spinning the cursor too far around the eye so he wasn't getting dizzy, or not enough around the eye so he also wasn't getting dizzy. It seemed like you found a great sweet spot, though. Yeah, for some reason I didn't have a ton of issues playing this, although it did happen to me occasionally. I guess I was just moving my wrist in the perfect circle, but maybe that's harder to do than I thought. Maybe I was using too much of my arm and not enough of my wrist. Who knows? But I do have to say, when you won, it was really rewarding. Yeah, every time you saw the eye getting dizzier and dizzier and then finally explode, it did feel really good, even if it did get old after a while. So overall, Eyebrow's a pretty good concept for Mario Party 8. It's cool seeing something that probably couldn't have been done in the older games. I mean, I guess you could have just had to rotate the control stick around in circles, but then you get into dangerous pedal paddle territory where you're burning your palms off. So I think it's good that they did it this way. It's a lot of fun to play and it's pretty rewarding, even if it doesn't have a lot of depth. We're giving it three stars out of five. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this review, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Up next, we'll be reviewing Flip the Chimp. All right, enough of the monkeying around. Hopefully we start getting down to the good mini games. Well, if you want to see what this one's like, come back to watch it with us. Hope, Hope to see, see you then. then.